Hello everyone, welcome to RBR Life Science. In this video, we are going to learn how to prepare nutrient broth media for microbiological work. Nutrient broth is a culture medium used for cultivation of microorganisms such as bacteria in the laboratory. To prepare nutrient broth, we need some apparatus. So our requirement for making nutrient broth are nutrient broth powder, weighing balance, spatula, weighing board, then we need distilled water and measuring cylinder, a conical flask of 500 ml capacity, we need aluminum foil paper, non-absorbent cotton, then we need autoclave and refrigerator for storage of nutrient broth. The first step in this procedure is media preparation. To prepare nutrient broth, we are going to use the commercially available ready-made nutrient broth powder from high media. This bottle contains nutrient broth powder. This nutrient broth powder is a mixture of three main ingredients. These are peptone, beep extract and sodium chloride. This nutrient broth powder has predetermined composition of the various nutrients. So whenever you use the commercially available culture media, you should always read the instruction written on the bottle before media preparation. Here on this bottle, it is mentioned that for making 1 liter of nutrient broth, you should dissolve 13 grams of powder into 1000 ml of distilled water. So to prepare a 1000 ml of nutrient broth, we require 13 grams of nutrient broth powder. Since we are going to make 100 ml of nutrient broth, we will need around 1.3 grams of nutrient broth powder. First, take a clean weighing boat, keep it on the weighing balance. Air the weight to the zero. Now using a clean spatula, weigh approximately 1.3 grams of nutrient broth powder in the weighing boat. Now add this 1.3 grams of nutrient broth powder in the conical flask of 500 ml capacity. Now we are going to add 100 ml of distilled water in this flask. After addition of the water, shake well and mix the ingredients properly using a glass rod. If clumps of powder are formed, then you can slightly heat the flask containing media. Once the powder is dissolved properly, plug the mouth of the conical flask using non-absorbent cotton. This is called as plugging the flask. After plugging is done, wrap an aluminum foil paper on this cotton plug. You can also wrap the paper. The second step in this procedure is to sterilize nutrient broth media in autoclave. Now keep the flask containing nutrient broth preparation inside the autoclave and autoclave the media at 121 degrees Celsius and 15 LBS pressure for 15 minutes. When the 15 minutes is over, remove the flask from the autoclave. and let the flask cool down for half an hour. When the flask is cooled down, now you can use this nutrient broth media for the microbiological work. If you are not using it immediately, you can store this nutrient broth in the refrigerator at 4 degrees Celsius. This is all about how to make nutrient broth from commercially available nutrient broth media. For more information on nutrient broth media, visit our blog website rbrlifescience.com. You can read my article on the topic nutrient broth composition, preparation and use. The link to our blog website is given in the description. If you don't have the commercially available nutrient broth media, then you can make the nutrient broth medium by adding individual components. So these individual components are peptone, beep extract and sodium chloride. The standard formula for making 100 ml of nutrient broth is that there should be 0.3% of peptone, 0.5% of beep extract and 0.5% of sodium chloride in 100 ml of nutrient broth. In grams, you should weigh 0.3 grams of peptone, 0.5 grams of beep extract and 0.5 grams of sodium chloride and dissolve all these weighed components in 100 ml of distilled water and adjust the pH at 7.2. 
the procedure of cotton plugging and sterilization in the autoclave is same as described earlier so friends thank you so much for watching this video if you want to watch such more videos then please like comment and don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel rbr life science for more information visit our blog website rbrlifescience.com the link to our blog website is given in the description thank you